this partnership allows a strong collaboration between national government and I'd like to congratulate the team from DOST and all that have, those have been responsible for creating such a model and the national, uh, the academe and local government and the community in addressing a finite natural resource which is water. That's why there is a need for this to be sustained for future generations. I was overhearing the gentleman in front of me, what if it doesn't work then it's up to us to spend for it. Well, we'll test it. If it's effective, we'll spend for it. Okay? And uh, of course, today is momentous in the sense that uh, there will be an agreement to be signed by NWRB and the city of uh, Sambuanga. We will be witness to that very momentous occasion. Now, uh, as I have said, uh, there are uh, actually phases of implementation. By the way, the, the title of the project is Development of a Groundwater Management Plan and Monitoring System for Sambuanga City. So the first phase, I believe, has already been done, and this is the evaluation of the uh, uh, ba basic uh, of the basin, you know, both in terms of quality and quantity, the groundwater basin, and uh, also the, as indicated also by our dear mayor, the establishment of uh, groundwater physical chemical uh, 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 basis, you know, uh, for uh, monitoring, and uh, today. We will be having a groundbreaking, which will actually uh, mark the beginning of phase two, where uh, we now have uh, uh, to address the uh, uh, real-time uh, and long-term monitoring of uh, the water, in the groundwater, uh, for both quality and quantity. To us, this is important because uh, uh, if uh, we will be able to uh, install a good system here, then this can easily be replicated in uh, other parts of the country. Everybody say water is life, no? So there are alternatives for oil and gas, for power, but there is no alternative for water. That's how important water is. And, uh, and more recently, no, with the uh, overdevelopment, urbanization, water is now becoming, is now threatened, no? Uh, in terms of quality and availability. That's why these uh, projects are very timely. Uh, timely indeed because uh, this year also uh, the United Nations also launched no, the uh, Water for Sustainable Decade. No? So, so it has been launched. No? Uh, the UN declared it in December 2016 and uh, it declared 2018 to 2028 as the decade of water for sustainable development and uh, part of that uh, objectives of that uh, declaration is we have to create actions no for the sustainable of uh, development of water including you know, the implementation of the sustainable development goals as mentioned by uh, second the horrible secretary earlier wherein we have 17 no, development goals sustainable development goals and we believe water, no, under goal uh, goal six, no, for water and sanitation, it connects, no, it connects uh, all these uh, sustainable development goals. Kung nasa, kung every sustainable goals we see water is there, no, we are in relative activity on water. We are thus glad to be a partner and stakeholder in this groundwater management project for our city. It is good to partner with our bigger sister university, the Ateneo de Manila University, on this. Thank you for thinking of Sambuanga and choosing it as one of our and your identified partner project areas. <coughs> as the project paper states, water is very, very critical in Sambuanga City. We have had a number of fora and conversations on the water problem in the city in the past few years. And this technical project is very necessary in pushing this conversation forward. As Ateneo de Manila University's younger sister school in Zamboanga, we are but happy to help facilitate, support, and co-implement your work in Zamboanga. This work of facilitation and support is made possible because of our own strong strong partnerships in the city, foremost of which is, our, is with our very own city government. 
the city government led by our dear Mayor Ben Climaco Salazar and assisted by her strategic and technical team like Engineer Jojo Sikat over there, head of the planning office and the different units in the city government. The city government is very committed in this process. That's why we are partners in any any movement for so, uh, sustainable and social development. So these are now our results. Notice the areas that are in red. These are the areas that are highly vulnerable. Vulnerable because of the physical characteristics of the area. At the same time, the anthropogenic activities that are done in that area. So we have APA 15, 17, um, 18, and 19 that have been identified as critical areas. So the vulnerable areas, um, of the four areas, what we found of interest was APA 18 and 19, particularly because of the present of, presence of built up and agricultural areas and because of the fact that it has a flat topography. In APA 18, we also noticed saltwater intrusion, and this was particularly due to its distance to shorelines. APA 18 also is the location of the majority of the existing wells within Sambuanga City, your water, your groundwater. Okay, so through the 3D model, we were able to identify these to recharge areas. Um, based on science also, we know the importance of uh, sand zones for water infiltration. However, areas wherein we noticed that uh, it can be used for recharge, the land use already shows anthropogenic uh, activities, in particular agricultural activity. <coughs> so this is the land use of APA 18 and 19. This area that is um, in black or bordered with black was uh, the basis of the model. That's where you have the 56 pumping stations that were used for the data. So what are your recommendations? First and foremost, we highly encourage the protection of the recharge areas. And of course, we want to monitor what is happening with the groundwater resources of Sambuanga City. Hence, our primary recommendation is the construction of monitoring wells with real-time network sensors. In particular, the four areas where we saw what it, that would be fitting to place um, your monitoring stations are Kalarian, Putik, Salaan, and Tugbungan. <laughs>